It's time for Ryan's Roses. You know this is a public service. Uh, if there's something you can't figure out in your relationship and you're searching for peace of mind, that's what we can hopefully find for you. So I say that because Jolene has written in from Lakewood. Let me bring her up here on the phone. Uh, Jolene, good morning. How you doing? Uh, good. How are you? Hanging in there. So... Your husband was in a fender bender, you say, a few weeks back, right? Yeah. And then you were on the phone with the insurance company going through the police report, and they referred to what? Um, yeah, it's a little weird. So the car, you know, it's in my name, and um, they, they said that there was, well, they said I was in the car. Um, were you in the car? No. Okay. I was not. Um, and I told them that and I said, you know, no, it was, uh, my husband was driving and they said, oh, sorry, it must not have been you. The police report just says that there was a female in the passenger seat. So did you ask your husband who that was? Yeah, because obviously I didn't know that he would have been driving with a woman and right. he just said it must be wrong. Um, which I, I would believe him, but he just seemed really uncomfortable. Where, um, where was so the I, incident? Where do you know? Was it near a place he would be? Well, he told me he was working late, and the I mean, where the accident happened, like it it could be, you know. I mean, it was just it was pretty near where we live. You know what okay. I mean? It wasn't. There were no red flags there. It's more just that he seemed to get really nervous and uncomfortable when I asked him about it and said, you know, I'll just call back and tell him I wasn't in the car. And Okay, I tell you what, um, we are, let us get involved. We're going to put you on hold and we're going to come back and we're going to call him and see what we can find out next at KISS. Jolene's husband was in a fender bender and the police report reported a female passenger with him, but it wasn't Jolene. So who was with him in the car in this accident? Yeah. And she asked him about it, and he said, oh, they must have got the report wrong. Well, I doubt that. I doubt that. So, yep. Jolene, we are going to call him, see what we can find out. Be very quiet until we tell him he's on the air, okay? Okay. Hello? Hi, I'm looking for Chris. Uh, this is me. Hi, Chris. My name is Olivia. I'm calling from Liv's Flowers. We're actually a flower shop that delivers here in the Lakewood area. How you doing this morning? Oh, I'm doing great. Uh, I usually don't answer numbers I don't know. This is great. It must be my lucky day. Yeah, you know, we're offering a chance right now for local residents uh, to promote our business, and we're basically giving you a dozen free roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like, and you can get them by lunchtime today. Are you there? Uh -huh. Yes, I'm right here. A lot of static. Yeah, I can barely hear you. Um, is that something that you would be interested in? Oh, absolutely. Great. So I just need the name of the person you'd want to send them to. We can start there. Oh. Yeah, I'd like to send them to Alice. Alice? Okay. And what would you like to put on the card? Oh, uh, maybe just put on the note, uh, I will fix this. And... Uh, you know, maybe like a like a, just a card with like some hearts on it, nothing too crazy, you know. Great. Yeah, we have like some romantic cards that um, have hearts on them. And do you want me to sign it, love, Chris? Uh, no, no, no. Just maybe just just write the, like I said. The, I, I I will fix this. Not so. So hey, Chris, okay. it's it's. Are you on a train, Chris? No, no, no. I'm here at my office. Okay, uh, we're getting back. it's hard to hear you, Chris, but I want to ask you a question. Who is Alice? Oh, she's my uh, son's swim teacher. Okay, why are you sending her some sweet flowers, and why are you going to fix? What's that all about? Oh, I, I told her uh, flowers. What is going on with this guy's phone? Tops, is it? Have you ever heard of anything like, like this? In the beach. Are you surfing? Hello? Chris, are you there? Yes, this, I'm right here. Wait, this is going to go wrong if we can't hear him. <laughs> are you on yeah, a bike? I'm right here. I'm what I'm what I'm are I'm you doing? I've got all bars. 
What's that? It sounds like we're in a dishwasher. No, 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 no. Okay, bro, let me ask you a question. Are you cheating on your wife, Jolene? Oh, no way, no. She's, she's aces. I'd never cheat on her. Then why did you send Alice flowers? Well, I just felt bad. Like I said, I kept her waiting for an hour for, for the last, uh, sw you know, swim practice thing. And, and uh, you know, I just uh, just felt bad about that. So I just wanted but to, you know, kind of compensate for that. Well, why she's the hearts? Sweet. You know, she's really nice. Uh, Chris, uh, uh, one other thing. You had an accident, a fender bender, and in the police report, they reported a female in the passenger seat. Who was that? No, I think they, they made a mistake on the police report there. No, we checked. They didn't. Mm -hmm. So who was with you? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm really... <laughs> I really don't, want, don't feel comfortable talking about this. So, Chris, who was in the car? I, I feel terribly uncomfortable myself. So who was in the car with you? Um, yeah, it, it's... <laughs> I, I, I yeah, say. Chris, it sounds like you're seeing another woman. Is that the case? Are you cheating on your wife? No, 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 no. I would never cheat on her. Are you skydiving? What is going on? <laughs> I, is he doing this yeah, intentionally? I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I've never this heard this. In I've never heard this on a call. Okay, so Chris, here's what we know. Jolene is listening. She's on the line. She thinks you're seeing another woman. There was another woman in the passenger seat of your car and you just sent flowers to another woman. <laughs> so my advice to Jolene is to pursue this, that I think you are seeing somebody else or spending no. time with another woman. I, I seriously would never see anybody else. I, I love my wife. I, Chris, I can't yeah, hear. Okay, Chris, Chris you, you just said that Colin was an hour late to swim. You kept her waiting. Um, he never said anything about that. I never heard anything about it. This doesn't make any sense. Well, I didn't want to say anything because, you know, we paid mm -hmm. for this, the, the, the lesson and everything, and I just wanted to kind of, you know, just, just keep going, you know. So, Chris, uh -huh. are you... Well, why would he be an hour late? What is going on? And who's the other woman in the car? He's hooking up with Alice, the swim instructor. It's so obvious. No, 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 no. I, would never I don't do understand. Like, your story doesn't make sense. Like, Colin has never been late for swim. That, that's not been a thing that I've ever heard of. This doesn't make sense. Why on earth? Why if you kept his swim instructor waiting, would you be sending her roses and a card? This doesn't, this doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's just, uh, just what happened. There's nothing to be concerned about it. Sounds you know? like there is. Okay, so it was like she the one in the car? Yeah. I, I think you guys just need to let this one go. Seriously, I, I really didn't do anything. All right, Chris, here's the deal. First of all, I don't know what trick you were playing with your phone, but I think that was intentional so that he mm -hmm. couldn't hear us. Yeah. Uh, your wife has a hunch that you're seeing another woman. You sent roses to Alice, and you had a female in your car when you got into a wreck. So clearly, mm -hmm. you're spending time with another woman or women. Jolene, my advice to you is to dig deeper but I can tell you right now, Chris is not innocent here. Yeah, I, I can tell. Like gonna, none gonna, of this adds up. I'm gonna let and it I at that. Talk, I, I would talk to Alice. Yeah, I mean I've got her number. He's stupid if Alice is the one he's seeing because. Uh, oh my god. Okay, well that, I, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Good luck with that, and take care, Jolene. Okay. Thanks. All right. Bye bye. Hey, what is? Tubbs, explain to me what that was. It sounded like he was just driving down the road with the window down. Our phones then have it never would get, done that. Then it would get, then it would get the quiet for a second. I think it, it was sounded like I think it, it was, sounded like he was skydiving, like what you said. I, I think he was tandem skydiving, and I think it was a trick so he couldn't hear us and we couldn't hear him. It literally sounded like he t took his phone and like held it outside the window, out the window while he's driving yeah. fifty-five yeah. miles per hour. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Jolene and Chris are married, and Chris gets caught in an accident with a woman in the passenger seat, and that woman was not his wife. It's in the police mm -hmm. report. Right. Then, you get the guy on the phone to send roses to a woman, and he sends them to Alice, the swim coach. Uh-huh. So, was Alice in the car with him, or were there two different women? I think it's Alice this entire time. Plus, let's not forget what he wrote on the card. 
I will fix this. Right. That right there right. is like, so telling. He knows he's something. in trouble. Yeah. He knows yes. he's in trouble. And his wife knows that he was with another woman when he had his fender bender. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. my hunch is, I mean, if he's not cheating, he's on the verge of it because he's sending roses to another woman and spending time with another woman. It's a swim instructor, guys. It's just it's all written right there in front of us. How could he not send the roses to Jolene? Like, that's easy. He's got a wife. Send him to yes. Jolene. So okay. I, don't, I, I don't think he's innocent by any means. Amy, you heard that. What was going on with the, that shady phone? I, that, was that like an app he downloaded so that we couldn't hear him and he couldn't hear us? Like a trick? I don't know about an app, but that was definitely weird because, you know, we couldn't hear him some of the time and then it would like, exactly. mysteriously get better. Yeah, exactly. Like all of a sudden, you know what I mean? It, it was like back and forth so much. It was so strange. And then the other weird thing is, I don't know. I think there's something strange about dads and swim instructors. Like, I don't know if it's the swimsuit that like gets them all, I don't know, whatever. But like, I know that my husband would always get weird around our kid's swim instructor. And like, he never cheated or anything, but like the way he would check her out, I just, I was, you know, I did call him on it. Yeah. You called him out on it? I did because I just didn't think it was right. And I'm like, okay, what's the deal? Can you not take our kids to swim or what's going on here? You know? Did he stop? Yeah, he did. I mean, he stopped checking her out. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, Yeah, I think something's going on for sure. I think something's going on for sure. Well, Amy, Mm -hmm. thanks for calling. I appreciate it. No problem.